with the strings louder yo what's up guys ice cream here in this video I am be showing you guys a lowrider duplication working after the gun running update to do this, you will need a CEO garage with a mod shop. You're gonna need a friend, and you're gonna need a Lester job, like a heist job from Lester on your phone. So you're gonna need to start up a heist and at least have that on your phone. Now from there, it's basically the same setup as all the last ones I was posting. The first two cars in here do not matter what they are. After that, it needs to be free elegy, then a retro, free elegy, then a retro, free elegy, then a retro. You're swapping in sets. Now, I have my friends standing behind the car in slot two. So I'm going to pick up the car in slot one, and I'm going to switch it with the car in slot two. That car will go invisible. Pick up the car in slot three, switch it with four. Then I will pick up the car in slot five, switch it with six. Then I pick up the car in slot 7, switch it to 8, so on and so forth. But as soon as you're done switching, you need to exit out of the vehicle management by pressing circle and then press up on your D-pad to bring your phone out and then start spamming X. You want that Lester Heist job to be the only job in your phone. That way you just press up on the D-pad, start spamming X, it will accept that job and put you in this apartment but your car should not have switched if your friend didn't get all the way through the one car. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and order f some free elegies and the ones in 4, 6, 8, and 10. You see and that one was a free one I just replaced. Those are going to be my dupes. So what I'm seeing is a free elegy. What my friend is seeing is a retro custom. So you guys need to talk to each other here just to make sure that what he's seeing matches up to what you're seeing. You're seeing free elegies, he should be seeing a retro custom in whatever spots you are replacing. Never replace a retro custom. And from here, it's kind of perfect being all the way up here because it actually gives you something to do with your time. Because by the time I get back down to my office, all my cars are just being delivered make sure that you have custom plates on all the cars that you're going to dupe if you don't have a custom plate on it i guess you can take the punishments that come with it if you want but i wouldn't even bother duping if you can't put a custom plate on a car So yes, basically same setup as the last glitch I had. You're just using a different method to get out of the garage. You're using that Lester invite instead of being booted out. And actually the night the update came out, I was working on another glitch, getting a video for another glitch, which just involved going to the elevator door and exiting. But they have also patched that method too. Your elevator options do not come up until the car is visible again. So, this is ridiculous. I already called Lester. Now I got the cops on me again. And I fucking pay fifteen thousand just to get these fuckers off my back. <laughs> they really like that Jeep. So as you can see, my cars are just now being delivered anyway, so it's kinda of perfect. You know, gives you something to do instead of just stand here staring at your fucking garage door waiting for the cars. So once they are all delivered, you can go ahead and enter the garage that you duped in. Make sure you do not hit your office or anything like that to drag your friend out of this garage. Otherwise, they will switch back to elegies. So from here, the ones in 4, 6, 8, and 10, I will take each of them in and change the plate to another custom plate. 
You can also just change the color as long as it is already a custom plate. That will also work if you only want to get one plate. But that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try to help you as best I can. And I hope you guys all have a good day, man. Peace!